I made $1,000 four different ways in less than five hours easily. In some cases, just with a couple of minutes work. Let's talk about how. Method number one, host a webinar. The short version of this story is that I hosted a webinar I for free. I announced it to my audience of I think uh, maybe 4,000, maybe 5,000 subscribers email subscribers and I said, hey, come to this webinar. People came to the webinar. At the end of the webinar, I sold them a course. They bought the course. You wanna know a little bit more backstory though. About a year ago, I was hearing rumors that it was really hard to get started on Medium as a beginner. And I wanted to know exactly how hard. So I started Medium, brand new ghost profile, didn't tell anybody what it was, didn't share my links, did nothing. I pretended I was a totally brand new blank slate beginner to Medium. And I found that actually, being a beginner is hard, but it's not as hard as a lot of people realize if you know how to rely on publications. And using publications, I actually got to the point where my ghost profile was earning uh, around $1,000 a month. Now, uh, importantly, it took me six months to get to that point. Um, it took me six months of publishing at least once per week, every single week for six months before I even had 100 followers. That's not the method I'm talking about though. Once I had that information, I thought, okay, this is so interesting and so useful and so valuable for people who wanna get started on Medium. How can, I, how can I use this to be helpful? How can I share this information? And I remember that a year before that, I had made my very first digital course, Publications 101 on Medium. I've always believed publications are super important to growing on Medium and this new experiment proved it. So I hosted a totally free webinar where I talked about the importance of publications. I talked about how I'd grown as a beginner. I talked about how I didn't niche down, how I'd grown to hundred followers literally over the course of six months hard work. At the end of that webinar, I said, hey, if you want to learn more, if you wanna really figure out how to use publications to your advantage, here's my course, I sold it. The upfront work. Remember, it took me six months of writing at least once per week to build the knowledge that helped me create the webinar. It took me three years of building my newsletter till I had an audience big enough that I could tell about the webinar and sell my course too. It took four years of writing experience because when I started my ghost profile, I wasn't a brand new writer. I was a writer with real experience under my belt. And I had already spent 10 hours creating, designing and uploading the course uh, the year before. In execution, however, I already had all that stuff under my belt. It took me two hours to design and market the webinar. It took me another two hours to craft the marketing emails to let people know about the webinar and to get them to buy the course. And I spent one hour actually running the webinar itself, answering questions, detailing my experiences and so on. So five hours, and this is by far the longest of the methods. That earned me $1,600, $1,600, $1,675 from selling the course. Number two, I sold affiliate products. So the, again, short story to this is my friend slash colleague Sinem launched her Medium Writers Academy. I marketed it to my audience. A bunch of people bought it through my link and I earned a small affiliate commission. That's the short story. I have a lot of amazing Medium or writing friends who make really, really cool products. I have never wanted to make a full on Medium course. That's just never been an interest of mine. I've always done little, little, littler ones. But I know that my audience, that again, I've spent years building, wants that kind of product. So when my friend Sinem created her, updated rather, her course that I already know is amazing because I've watched it, she showed it to me and was like, hey, do you want to let people know about this? I'll give you a 30% affiliate code. I was thrilled because I knew that it was going to be a quality course. I knew that my audience would love whatever I had to offer. And I was excited to be able to fulfill one of my audience's needs without having to do any of the work myself. So the upfront work, it, I have been friends with Sinem for two years. That's how I know her course is amazing. That's how I know that she delivers on the goods. And that's how she knows that she can reach out to me to help promote her course. It also took me three years to build my newsletter again, to get to the point where I had an audience of people to tell about this incredible course that my friend had built. The execution, it took me one hour. That's it, it took me one hour, because I already had that stuff in the bank. It took me one hour to write the emails to let my email list know about the course. And that was it. The result, I earned $1,000, $1,058 doing this from an hour's work because I already had the relationship and the newsletter banked. I already had those in my pocket. An hour of writing emails was all it took to make $1,000. Number three. This one's a little boring. I used a very slow email funnel. 
What does that mean? The short story is at the bottom of every single one of my stories, I include a link that says, hey, sign up to my email list because you'll get this awesome course. It's a free course. The person gets the free course and then they get pitched my publications 101 course and they might buy that at the end of the thing. We've already talked about that course. You already know my publications 101 course that I talked about. I made it back in 2020 and I've earned about $10,000 with it since then just by doing this sort of really slow drip. So for every person who reads one of my articles, at the bottom of my article I say, would you like to get your free five-day email course delivered straight into your inbox about how to grow on Medium as a beginner? Totally free, zero expectations, zero obligations, just free information sent to that person's inbox. After that, I say, hey, if you want to get a little bit more, here's my publications one-on-one -on -one course. I send out three emails with that course. After that, because I don't want to piss people off and I'm I'm really keen on providing like value first, no matter what, whether they buy the course or not, I also give three service emails where I answer frequently asked questions like how to get into publications, uh, whether or not you should pl reply to comments, things like that. And after that, they are dropped into the rest of my email newsletter where they just get my weekly broadcasts just like everybody else. That's all on autopilot. I don't do anything. So <laughs> again, the upfront work, it took me 10 hours to create this course back in 2020. Uh, again, I made the sequence a long time ago. I think it took me about three hours to set up the email sequence and the sales sequence. Uh, it took me about two hours to design the downloadable PDF that people get for free when they sign up. And again, of course, it took me three years of writing, building that newsletter, um, getting an audience who would go through this slow funnel. In execution, it takes me one minute to add that call to action to the bottom of my articles. Finally, let's talk about option about method number four, which is to bundle your assets. The short story, I sold four products bundled up with a discount to my newsletter. Five people bought it. I made about $1,200. End of short story. Into the longer story. Every six months or so, I try to create a new product to answer the needs of my audience. It finally occurred to me a couple of months ago that I should try bundling these because a lot of these products solve some sort of complementary issues. So I offer one hour of consulting, editing an article, access to my Publications 101 course, and access to my PDF article template that people can use and reuse to, to generate articles. And I sold them at a discount in a bundle. Now, the upfront work behind this. Again, three years of building my newsletter. This did not come quickly, did not come easily. It was a grind, it was a slog. But by the end of it, I had 6,000 people who I knew would be semi-interested in this. At some point in 2020, it took me 10 hours to create that course. At some point in 2021, it took me uh, three hours to design that PDF template for the article generation. However, in execution, it took me one hour to do the consultations and actually out of the five people who bought it from me, only two people so far have taken me up on that. I would hypothetically have to do 30 minutes roughly per edit, but again, I haven't actually received any of those. So if you bought one, please email me so I can do your edit and do your consultation. It took me two hours to draft those sales emails and send them out. And it took me about 30 minutes to knock up a product image using Canva. About four hours spent so far, and I earned about $1,200. So I wanna end with a quick reflection on passive income. I hope that this illustrates that even the most of the passive incomes, um, for example, my newsletter funnel that has generated $10,000 or so in revenue, it's not passive. I have to write every single week. I have to grow my audience. I have to build a reputation for myself as someone who's trustworthy, someone who, who has goods to deliver, someone who has value to offer. These methods may be easier, but again, they're not easy. It takes a lot of work to get to where I am. All of these assets, whether they are digital assets, whether they are really intangible assets like relationship with your peers or trust with your audience, they take a long time to build. However, once you are in that position, you can leverage and reuse and reuse these assets over and over again to earn an income by doing what you actually love, by communicating with your audience and telling them about products that are going to be useful for them. So thank you for watching this video. I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about these methods? Do they count as passive income in your mind? Do they not? I read every single comment, so let me know what you think. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.